Hey everybody, it's Alex and Matt back here at Powder 7 chatting about some of our favorite skis. We're taking some comparable models and putting them head to head and trying to find some comparisons between Throwing the two. down the gauntlet. Yeah, the Battle Royale. Yeah, gauntlet. Battle Royale. Um, so we've got two really badass skis in this video. We've got Kessley and Stokely, two companies that make fast skis really well. Carvers, they come from Race Room Heritage. Um, and this is the MX83, Kessley's Mountain Cross line. We've talked at length about it, carried it forever. And this is Stokely's uh, AX Montero, which is the new version this year of the AX Laser, uh, which is one of our best selling skis. Um, people love it. So we thought two of our all time favorite carvers, let's see what the differences are. Um, they both love speed. They're both built with metal, um, but you get pretty different on snow feels, to be honest. Um, over here with the AX Montero, one of the coolest things about this ski <clears throat> is how it performs more aggressively with more power the more input you put into it. Um, and it starts at a fairly low bar for what it is. For a ski from Stokely with metal, that sounds all really intimidating, but you can be uh, a pretty athletic intermediate type skier who's working on carving. These, both these skis definitely want to lay on edge and carve. Um, and the Montero doesn't beat you up if you try to do that at slow speeds. And that's thing, just thanks to some cutouts in the metal internally um, that engage with more input, but they allow you to kind of take the, take the foot off the gas pedal and they don't beat you up for it. But when you do put down the hammer, this ski performs really well. Um, it's got a pretty short 14 meter turning radius. so. You, really quick carves. Um, a lot of guys who love it kind of ski with like a slalom style, super technically savvy forward in their boots um, and whatnot. But it's also, again, a little bit more accessible for what it is in this category. Uh, MX-83 is kind of a sports car. It's lighter weight than the Montero. Um, you've got these Holotech tips from Kessley that reduce swing weight a whole bunch. Uh, they shave some of the weight out of this area of the ski and they also dampen vibrations. So you're, when you put the pieces together and you've got a pretty light ski with a ton of camber under your foot, light for what it is with two sheets of metal, it's not a touring ski, <laughs> full disclosure, uh, and a whole bunch of camber under your foot, a little bit of early rise and tips, um, and you get a ski that is crazy energetic. So um, if you're an advanced to expert skier and you put a lot of energy into the MX, it, it's super smooth, um, it feels pretty plush, and it pretty much doesn't have a speed limit unless you're maybe like an X-Racer who's a lot bigger than I am. Um, I would say higher speed limit versus the AX, wants to be driven fast, can be speed, skied at different speeds. Um, I would say a little bit higher ceiling here with the MX as far as how good that feels to carve the MX really hard and stay on it. You get a lot of good feedback from the ski. You get that too with the AX Montero, um, but it's pretty hard to beat the ride on the MX-83 when you're carving all over the mountain. So a little more of an all mountain carver here maybe as a distinction point versus pr pretty much a tried and true recreational carving ski in the Montero. Um, how do you think I did? What do you think? That sounds all correct to me. I think you hit it on the money. I finally hopped on the MX a little bit last season um, and it really does force you to kind of take that good form, good technique, and really be sure you're driving from the shovels. I tend to like slide around a little bit, so the MX is a great thing for me to really get reps in on performing at like a really high level, which totally. I think is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right on. So we hope this helps you guys narrow down your choices in the fast skis category. Um, Hit that subscribe button in the description for more content like this. We also do fashion shows with soft goods. We do buyer's guide content. And we'll have some on snow stuff uh, once we're skiing this winter. Yeah, we're counting down the days. Yeah, so we'll see you on, in the mountains. And uh, make sure you treat yourself to some retail therapy. <laughs>